And it appears Aurora about to walk straight into it as Synopsy finds the first massive 2k on the opener. Rigon finds one more and my goodness, what a powerful pistol start for the Bad News Eagles. Yeah, absolutely stunning right there and Synopsy to cap it all off with a nice little 2k, but add 4 to it. Because he's going to close it with a 4k. Beautiful work coming through from Synopsy. Excuse me, and his awfully importance on Overpass cannot be underestimated. It's the mobility that he has. He's always in your face in every angle, but Lackey has really nailed this timing. And you can see GXX luckily able to have his teammates back right there. Otherwise, they would have lost too. Great recovery coming through, but GXX a whole lot more left to do. To the punch, though, that's a big question. This HG could do a lot of damage as the smoke has just got tossed in towards short. They're rerouting towards Monster. This buys all the time in the world. Juan Flautro already behind the pillar, ready to offer up a defense past the smokes and looking to strike here. He still hasn't made his move, though. Careful that he doesn't wrap it upon. There's one trying to spin for two, but he's bought enough time. Only nine seconds left, and the op of GXX finds a quick trade to close. A pure chaotic round right there. To reroute, they've just been met with a little extra utility here. And this setup's going to be hard to bypass. 20 seconds there is no time for mistakes, but here's the rotation calling in towards the A side. They need support, but it's a complete fake coming through, and they've bought it hook, line, and sinker. There's only seven seconds left. They need to land some headshots here. Nori not able to do so, but it doesn't matter. They're able to buy enough time for Selter to get the bomb planted, and now we have a 4v4. Yeah, with even standings, another advantage game. The Celta continues to frag. Norway massive double. And, well, guess who it is in the clutch once more? GXX peers in towards heaven. He's got a bit of money in his back pocket, but nowhere near enough to afford sacrificing this up on over on their side. But, excuse me, I'll be eating my words, as that was a truly fantastic bait and switch for the likes of the Russian squad. But the Bad News Eagles had no chance in a retake. Lanky now... Lining up a Molotov, but sees a couple of toes walking into his cross there. Synopsy strikes first, though, and it's another game of even stature, but still a heavy disadvantage, as it will be majority pistols for B&E. Kenzie deals with the first in Sinari. And Synopsy now has a lot to do. Not a primary all, but he'll have to make do with the big green in this one. Ooh, he finds himself another, but there's that quick trade. Nice job from Selter to answer back. The site's still yet to be fully claimed, and a bit of a difficult dance here. One Flautcher picking up the up, trying to take care of Kinsey. He nails it, and look who has a rifle standing close by. It's going to be Juan Flautcher, who doesn't even need a teammate here. One more a chance, but no, Celta looking to close. He can't do it. Rigon making sure to lock that one in just barely. More chaos continues, but this time it's Rigon. Get on over here. Are you ready to pounce soon? But how much can he find from this position? He spots out one, he spots out a second. There's the first kill, and not the second. Lackey going to trade. It is a revelation of where this place is made, but they still have to hold off on this A side. Juan Flaucher left last man standing in position revealed. Kenzie going to take care of that. Oh, pull. no! <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. I wonder, oh, yeah, GXX has been spotted. He's going to get closed in upon. Like, Sharks hunting, no way that's the timing that he gets, so absolutely nails it. One more, though, Nori stands close by. Looking to find the trade. No, GXX doing it with the rifle. I talked about it. Nori's such a beast in that position. Usually, he's good for some big kills. But right now, there's no one on this a bomb site here. They have utility tossed on in. GXX made his great escape out of connector, but they have full control in this a bomb site. Right now, you have Kenzie, who's lurked his way all the way through long. In towards the CT maze side of things, in towards bank now, and look at this, GXX, it's been a long round for him, but he might just get caught off guard, he is. Oh, they're going for a full rotation back up to A here, aren't they? They've not left a single player on B, and again, the fake has been sold to perfection. An open sight, an easy plant, and one flat throw. He does hear Kenzie, but doesn't realize that he's already underneath him. The B bomb sight. Oh, it's going to be cut off one Flatro. Surely he doesn't anticipate this, but he does. It's a very tough fight for both sides to win. McKenzie with the sidearm whips it out. Bomb plant, more importantly, denied though. And Kenzie, despite his best efforts, despite his distractions, has not been able to win the round. As bad news equals, my <laughs> goodness, they almost lose it off the back of that headshot. But Synopsy bags it all for his troubles. And bags B&E a &E sick. My God, Kenzie, a valiant effort, though. To spice up a round. They give up the advantages in order to show off, I'm sure of it, Exner. As GXX again, so prominent on the big green. 
I've already said I love watching this man play. He's got an electric playstyle, and when he's on form, his aim is just never missing, it seems. Classic, though, doesn't miss his opportunity to trade. The Synopsy and Cineri chiming in for one apiece. Smoke goes down towards the bits of the bomb site, but Rigon spins on in, but gets his jaw spun straight back in return. Two versus two as Lattic is low. Bomb is planted by Norway as Synopsy comes in through the back lines, and Norway is completely caught off guard. Fantastic stuff from Synopsy there. As he now has 13 kills to his tally. They're hunting for opportunities, and speaking of which, Rigon opportunities to fight out towards the safe side in fact they are hunting for fights synopsy again playing so incredibly well goes for more aggression although there are trades to answer right on back rigon and synopsy their proactivity is punished oh my god gxx does dive away from that nade but that was some nasty spam nearly had the follow-up as well and they're doing this again they're showing so much Chaos towards this A side. It's called in a rotation here. It's brought in another player. Kenzie. Oh, missed up shot. GXX has to dance in between these truck angles. It's Juan Flautro. I just want to know be a bit of this B aggression here. He needs us to go down. Oh, another missed shot from the secondary. It's up to Sinair to try and close this one out, but no luck there. He gets up down by Lackey. And again, in these most chaotic moments, Aurora raiding that defense right and capitalizing on some small mistakes there. Always there to trade in tandem. Rigon's been boosted up on top of the shelves. As Oh, they're just so oh, narrow no around way. this corner. Lackey doesn't catch it. And Rigon, that is a massive double to be finding this early on. Oh, he took the headshot angle as well. So he walks away with some change. A little bit of extra damage before he does fall. And on Flautro stands tall. Though he's expecting his gun. I know it looks pretty, but you got to get your gun out here. As GXX is going to take another life. Chaos again created. Kenzie trades and Seltzer almost found himself another here. So this two on three, very workable. It's all like a time though. A synopsis could catch him trying to go down connector. He will. That's the bomb dropped. Last player somewhat known, now certainly known as one flasher just chased him down. I can't believe that. But they're just going to sit on top of that bomb like a goose egg. Synopsis got to be careful though. Seltzer's already made his way past his line. Yeah, sometimes we have a slow start to the round, but both teams have a nasty habit of picking things up come the middle and the end, and there is no end oh. just yet for Celta, but by God, Sineri. But they still have to capitalize. There's just some tech nides. This is the sort of buy that B and E would live and die on, but can they close out versus it? Oh, Lackey fully blinded. Does good damage to Sineri, but can't fully capitalize his death and not see. A cheeky angle from the barrels catches one. Lackey trades and Eric oh. finds another one. Flatro if in the head of an unsuspecting opposition. Norway now has a huge task on his hands. And the task is too great. As again, pandemonium in a fraction of a second. And Pad News Eagles somehow come out on top of this one. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to see if they can continue this hot streak after a short halftime break. He has a much tougher task ahead of him. As he really needs to sell this fake. He needs to be a one-man army here. And he is. He's doing damage. He's finding multiple headshots, but Seltzer puts him down. And that has to be enough to bolster up a defense on this B-side here. They know exactly where things are rolling. Can they land the shot to back it up? Lackey certainly says yes, as he nails it. 2v5 here. A couple low HP bars, but the numbers are simply overwhelming. Bad news, Eagles. And it's a flawless pistol to kick things off. That's exactly what they needed. For a force buy, I never will complain. You know, a lot of T-side teams <laughs> would never even make the attempt here, but they are willing to do so. They're hoping that they can catch him off guard, and Synopsy, that's exactly why. It's a good one-for-one -one trade to open things up as Swan Flat to extend, taking a very difficult fight. Forces all 30 out of Lackey, but GXX oh in the God. meantime, <laughs> waiting for that aggression. Kinsey probably thought he was safe. He has an A1S to his name, but no. oh no, no oh, way. Okay. Eventually finds the timing. And plays with his food a bit before sealing his fate. It's just valuable information here. He delays that kill out, even buying further time. Lackey, or Latic rather, he said he needs to defend this A bomb site heroically, running out of ammo though. And down very low. That H is going to finish him, I believe. No, it doesn't quite bounce. And now he needs to find one. He does just enough. One Flautro. Able to deal with the trade, and now this closer should be comfortable. Nori to finish the job. It got very, very awkward. Oh, that shot. Look at the scaling as well from Rigon taking a lot of space. He's going to get in their face super quick and Nori struggle to anticipate this. A lot of damage done. He has help. Great coverage from Lattic and 
spiraling out of control here. Lackey able to extend that advantage. They're looking for the trade, and they will find it eventually, but there's still that man advantage. Yeah, I wouldn't want to rule GXX out of an engagement, though, especially as they have a slightly weakened B bomb site. The rotation of Lattic does come down in the nick of time. The Canberra New Eagles rain down terror before the final rotation comes in. Celta in towards the depths of B water. Is going to have the perfect angle, but so does the Orper. So down he falls, and it now is an even standing. Classic jumping up above the box is misses for landing quite literally. But Norway in the back line find another Synopsy traded out with immediate effect. And now into the 1v1 we go. Synopsy on. Nothing more than a Glock here in this 1v1. It has at least a low HP health Lattic to deal with. And oh. Synopsy ricochets a lovely Glock shot into the back of his cranium with that B&E. We'll take it a mile. Such an asset. Another 1vx situation. They won three in the first half. They won three in like the first six rounds. And now they're getting it in the second half as well. Although Kinsey, what? <laughs> Able to get away with that on the synopsis after last round. A bit of a oh, no. anticlimactic ending. And it looks like B and E stumbling a little bit as Kinsey finds two GXX in Wildflower again. Kenzie spots nothing on his initial jump peak towards the back of Bank, but this isn't outsiders playing here. They're not about to save in a 2v4. No, my goodness, one plant from Execute Lattic with a very clean head jump. But Kenzie, the 2k spray down is immaculate, wins the duel against both of the long pushers. And with that, Aurora are on to nine, and the gap between these two teams has slimmed to a measly two. Further aggression in Kenzie. Here's the players rattling in connector GXX diving back up with the bomb. Can't afford to drop that right now. But he knows, now that they haven't peered their head up, that connector is still a liability. Rigon, though, how much can he gather from this position? If he could find this player on the top of Khan, maybe that could encourage them in towards the A side of reroute to avoid the B stack here. But no moves have been made. Finally, Rigon's able to strike, and that's it. That's going to be the cue to run as fast as you can in towards this A side. And Rigon, all he has to do is buy time, allow his teammates to get in towards the site. There's only a singular flash to enable this bomb to make it in, but they haven't landed it in time. They don't even need to throw the flash. They'll just run their way in. Rigon, there's that flash that comes through. He's going to peek off the back of it. Seltzer punishes. But opportunities in this 2v3 now open. Yeah, exactly. So he's holding the right angle, but then switches his gaze towards the Orpalatic Falls. And eventually the trade comes in, but Seltzer, I don't know if he wants anything else to do with this one. As he's hurt obviously in the Ooh. back lines, and forget what I just said, he's going for this duel. Another 1vx potential here for Aurora. Sineri keeps his head <gasps> pumped over. No! Oh my goodness, he gives it up to Seltzer, but there's no kid in play. Does he have enough time? I'm not sure he does. Seltzer is going to stick it regardless, and my god, it's going to come down to the wire. Seltzer! Oh, oh my, god. my god, he's only going to done it. It's another 11 to 11 equalizer, and bad news. Eagles, they lose out to a one versus three clutch from Celta. Oh, I cannot believe my eyes the way he was able to walk away with that round right there. Oh no. On the CT side, but not having a diffuse clip was clearly not a deficit enough as GXX again begins the fragging. Celta removed early doors this time. No more clutch potentials for him, but the rest of Aurora still looking scary. The monster push does come out though, and Nori denies the first man's entry. One Flatcher removed without a kill. He currently sits 12 and 17 with Rigon, two of the kingpins of the Saw matchup. Whew. That's rough. Yeah, immediate advantage extended there. You can see Nori so comfortable. Oh, spotted out Synopsy in the back of the lines of. The B side of things, they're taking so much space, but they really don't have a lot that they can work off of. Nothing towards that A side. They're just now gathering short, but they're also just now about to be met with the duo. Kenzie swings the door open in their face. Synopsy sneaks his way out and towards sight, but he's spotted out. There's way too many targets that he has to deal with. An overwhelming force here as Nori tosses down a couple shots down range. I think there's a gap in that one. Zaneri down far too low to think this one's possible. A 1v4 in return would be nice, but I don't. And Norwood surely has him covered here. Absolutely he does. The young gun going 24 in 17. A fantastic tally as he's actually equaled the frags of Kenzie with even fewer deaths. Another bullet in the chest of Regon, and this is another gun round for B&E as Sineri 
Ebbs his way down oh. connector, narrowly misses the timing there. He's not going to check his corner, is he? Kenzie's got a freebie. Thinks about playing trigger discipline, but he doesn't have to as he finds the AWP as well. A wasted investment yet again as Synopsy, the top fragger for b &E. It's not been afforded a frag in the past few rounds as Aurora keep on cutting through. And Kenzie looks to find another as the bomb carrier, the last alive, edges his way out of T-Ramp. This has been a dazzling display of dominance from Aurora on their CT side, losing only a single round since the half switch. That's what's so incredible there, locking a flawless one in his Nori, only giving over a single round. The smoke lands cutting off Bad News Eagle's own entry point. They ebb on forward. The A bomb site is exactly on the cards, and Latic always oh, on the menu, but what a flick shot to land. He's gonna get chased down though. There's the recovery. GXX wields the op now. And now look who's in prime position to close out this round. B and E have switched things up. They flipped the script on Aurora, and they've just given him a little bit too much space. Rigon sucked himself into his bank. Multiple angles that he has to cover. But Celta comes in with Vengeance, and we know this guy's been good on an A, a retake before. Can he replicate that same success? Bomb now planted in bathroom, so there isn't a smoke on the CT side. So the question is, how are they supposed to get past these angles? The post plant's looking far too pristine. A Synopsy maybe a little bit of a labored spray. Can finish the job, and he will. Celta now left into a 1v2, but Synopsy, he keeps things alive. He keeps Aurora off of that map point. It gives him a little bit of life. Time, but with 30 seconds to go, Bianini to make a move. They've got a man down towards the lower site. He does damage to Norway, but not a frag. It does burn a couple of rotations down, though, and it will be a B gamble stack as Rigon edges his way onto the site, but they don't clear for Kenzie. Kenzie doubles up. The bomb is dropped, and Bianini, they have to give up a 15th here. There's just no time left. Yeah, no one wants to make a move on into the we'll grab map point just as quickly as they lost that last round. and. Again, man, I gotta say, but credit to Nori. Without a solid fight, Celta towards the back of barrels yet to be spotted, but will now throw a Molotov, allowing Bad News Eagles peek into where he stands. Lackey standing on the head of his teammate, though. Oh, oh no. my goodness, catches another with Celta. GXX again to trade on now, keeping Bad News Eagles alive in round 28 and in this map so far. Sinati down through monster pushes ever further forward. Bomb now in tow. But there is a full Aurora lineup here to receive them. The AWP rotation should come down at a moment's notice. This lackey dish is such an annoying spot to clear. Smoke wall coming on towards the B side, but that's that one way Nori. So cheeky cutoff made by Lackey as well. And it's all off the back of GXX. He needs an ace to keep his team alive. He has the bomb, but he has three players that he faces up against. He might be able to isolate a fight here. Oh, no. No, I was so mistaken. Nori stands just ready to deliver a 16th round right there. Aurora, they look super comfortable at the turn of the half, only giving over two rounds here as they won that first map. And maybe fair enough, but closing out a Mirage on Bad News Eagles is a very tricky task that even the best of teams have failed to do. Well, Kenzie, though. Well, fails to spot the first man. Instead, it's Lackey to start the fragging. Juan Fletcher had a pretty poor performance in the previous map, but that will continue in this pistol as Norway and Kenzie, by dynamic duo, are continuing in the fragging department. Norway is an absolute menace as Celta, the clutch minister, it seems, will seal the deal. 1 0 to Aurora. That's two pistol rounds. Managers, but there's still a 4v4 and there's still a lot of interesting map control. There you go. GXX capitalizing on said control. I don't think anyone had spotted him. Sneaking his way on through towards the ladder room and Rigon has snuck his way on out of apartments. Has to make a sound cue if he drops here, but... Oh, I think Nori's been spotted. He got... At least shot at. There's Rigon. No, it doesn't seem like they were aware at all. And he's able to extend more damage. But all these low HP bars, it doesn't help if they're not able to land the kills. They need to find them soon. They're closing in. Like sharks in the water. Synopsy going to take a headshot angle and... That'll be the all-important one. He could find the bomb planter. No, it just extends more damage and no more kills come through. Selter. Previous map. Now, when Flatro already off to a much better start in this T-side than he finished up with in the last. I think the only advantage is gifted to them. Delta sits patiently under Palace. So he'll be raining down on top of his head and it does force him out. And my God, what a flick around from Synopsy. Even stature again as Bad News Eagles gain good presence on the A site. This should be a post plant. 
The bomb is yet to be planted as GXX. Ooh, that's a very risky open plant, but Kendi does not swing. Connector side of things. Here comes a big game of timing here, and he strikes just in time. Synopsis still wins the fight. This guy is certainly picking up where he left off here. He's got enough time for this connector reposition. GXX ready to strike. They have a player in ramp. Kinsey finds one, but no one's on the bomb. There's not enough time. Kinsey has to run away. Ooh, GXX on this avoids tail. It. Ooh. Going for some fights here. I think they're going to be A-OK. -okay. I mean, they've looked pretty OK so far. Poor Atlantic still on an unupgraded sniper rifle. Lackey, a lovely frag on the one flat. Tro was Lackey able to double up. Massive stuff there as GXX and Synopsy, they swing immediately back on in. Kenzie bags another. It's just so fast paced. There is no lapse in fragging at any point. And Norway, how has he gotten here? That's a free bomb. And poor old Synopsy, he's done so well. He's got all of the A bomb site to himself. He just can't do anything with it as the bombs now drop back towards the opposite end of his spawn and Celta drops him where he stands. Already cleared out all of television room. They can stack comfortably towards the eight bomb site as long as they keep an eye on Catwalk. Bad News Eagles don't stand much of a chance of winning this round, especially if Synopsy falls and the bomb goes with him. They're actually looking to cut him off though in this retreat here. I mean, they're making a lot of noise on this. He finds one more kill to add to the tally. How quickly can they transition this into a B-side take? The answer is very quickly. His rig on, he's able to deal with that ro ro rotate coming through, and all of a sudden, things have spiraled. Selter looking to try and find GXX, but no luck there. Now he just has an angle to post up on. Now he has a freebie. Selter walking right into his crosshair. Thank you very much. Now there's another flank there, but time's ticking. Oh, GX think so. Has he got the right idea? Yes, he certainly does, but misses the opportunity to find Kenzie. But at least with Kenzie's position, oh. alerted to him, he's going to find Norway regardless. Half of the fours of duo now knocked to pieces, leaves just Kenzie in a nightmare scenario. Catches Riggle on the exit, and almost another towards the short side. Great spam, but to no avail. As Bandit's Eagles regain the lead and win yet another gun round. Yeah, and even though sometimes Bad News Eagles are giving up those opening man advantages, they're so close together that they can trade. As Latic doesn't need to be traded here. That is a nightmare shot to be landing early doors for Juan Fletcher, who is still not quite finding the same level as form. So much hesitation start to set in. And delays can be created. Kinsey has coverage of connector as well. That smoke lands a little bit delayed. And Kinsey will extend advantages here. They're going to take position in towards apartments. Kinsey's going to get himself tucked in towards stairs. And things go from bad to worse. Which is, again, worrying as to how Bad News Eagles lost this round without a single frag. There was three people on pistols, if I'm not mistaken. And Latic on a scout. Kinsey the rifle to be fixed. Bad News Eagles are looking for a quick fix of an equalizing round. It is like a drug, those equalizers. That is fine to win on over as Latic very satisfied with another opening pick oh. on the orb by God. Lackey, another. This double up setup has been brutal, but at least for now, Bad News Eagles have a foothold on the B bomb site, and they've scared away the short side defense. They want to retake this together, but Lackey immediately shut on down. Losing that secondary orb gives Bad News Eagles some hope. A lifeline here. Big overextension. The Rigon tries to take control in towards the market, and he gives up his life. GXX, a more bit of pressure put on him to try and hold down the line as he does so beautifully. Another kill in the post plant that he's able to deliver. He needs a little bit more. Now he needs three as he's left last man standing, able to isolate the first, and he finds a second on the Selter. Spot to last, diving out of apartments. Kinsey left shaking in his boots. Time too far ticks. He finds a kill, but is there enough? No, he doesn't have a kit. The round over and confirmed by GXX is not the ace, but it is still a work of art. Okay, that is the second one versus three clutch that GXX has garnered. From that very position. Completely giving him space here. Oh, this is a disaster. Look at the ground that he's taken. He's going to be an absolute surprise for everyone on Aurora. Yeah, this is incredible there from Synopsy. How he's still sneaking on by... Completely undetected is beyond wow. me. 
Norway, all he needs to do is just check behind him, but why would he? His teammates have it covered, or at least that's what he thinks to himself, as Synopsy gets very up close and personal, practically within touching oh. distance. The readjustment on Dikenzi is fantastic, and the Forza duo immediately dispatched. Lackey does speak ahead of the Molotov boat, what? and he's going to find a double of his own one. Flatro is worth the trade on the MAC-10. Around like that. And again, I, I said it earlier, but Bad News Eagles really is in everyone's hands, but you have a couple of hero rifles here and there. You can see Mac Tinson play, but this one rifle, this one AK, two entries. Kenzie, though, he's also been working out pretty well so far this game. And oh, that's so unfortunate. Walks ahead of the smoke. Caught off by a timing as Synopsy catches two Vitaly. Make it three for the man. The Synopsy continues to deal unthinkable carnage. There is a trade on back though. Synopsy has finally fell, but three entries, it's just more than enough. Gaining players. We've seen ridiculous 1v3s thus far. And perhaps I've spoken a moment too soon. Norway decapitates Sineri. There is still time here, but GXX in towards CT. He's got the perfect angle, but he's going to miss the shot. Time has ticked too low though, and there is no defuse. Kinas Lassic tries to deal as much damage as possible. Get shut down by a Deagle. Norway finds one more for good measure. But will not dispatch of the author despite his 3k. This is because it's constant pandemonium. Yeah, I like the way your bells are tolling for the final round of the half, though. It does signify the impact this one will have coming into the second half as Rigon and Latic have an engagement towards ladder room. It's one out, out by the rifle, but Kenzie's quick to reply with a 1D. The smoke as well. Oh, oh my Kenzie. god. Jesus, one flatter doesn't stand a chance. The man's having one of his worst performances of the tournament, and that is only going to do further damage. We've seen clutches galore this game. Kelly pull off the 1v4. Seems a bit far fetched, but there's a first. A little bit of encouragement striking in his heart here. Kenzie going to get mollied out. Likely not going to give the fight, nor he will, though. Oh no. A couple big mistakes, 20 seconds left. He has to jet in towards B. He's not going to be able to beat Kenzie to the punch, but what he will have is a chance at the very least. He spots out another player in connector. There's information spotted, but again, Kenzie not jumping in front of the gun just yet. Wait for the plant first. We'll be able to steal oh. the kill. <laughs> a little bit dicey, but hey, whatever gets the job done right there, Kenzie going to close it out with a nice little 3K off the back of what was some beautiful opening deagle shots to land it. He makes sure to lock things in. It's eight, seven, half to close this out for the first half of Mirage. We'll see what we get onto the second right after this break. When they were taking on teams like FaZe at the, the Rio Major, man, those CT sides were on, on lock. We'll see if they can replicate it here online here. And Synopsy popping some shots off. Not the greatest of success, but hey, we'll give him a break. He's had a hell of a day so far. There's a 5v5 retake on that B bomb side, but Rigon starts to change the tides right there with a nice jumping headshot. Kenzie trades as quick as can be. And the numbers start to even out here as everyone's flying out of market. One Flotter able to land the reload, but Nori keeping things contained. It's GXX and another 1v clutch on the B bomb site. We'll see if he can add another one to the tally. This time with a pistol running out of ammo and taken care of by Nori, who starts off this half of the nasty 4k days it is ridiculous looking through they've not lost a single game since being as a squad as rigon well he's not losing looking to lose the game either he picks up two damn dust and he kills with a deagle Celta finds to himself my goodness it's just too hard to keep up with the kill feed is set on fire as kenzie lit up by rigon who's gonna find a 4k of his own with a deagle massive force by round there by b and e and somehow they come off on top. Something that every team has to deal with, but Nori, he has a deagle of his own now, and he shows it. One more opportunity here. They're giving him fights. It's a little bit labored. Lackey's going to find another kill. Oh my God, they're constantly swinging for the fences. They're running out of HP, but Sineri able to get his sidearm out, and he might just keep him level. He might just keep it contained here. It's both players on such low margins, but Sineri's on for the ace. Seem like it, but they're still standing in middle. One bullet could seal it, and it will. Synopsy will claim the last prize right there in PNE. &E. An increased level in this round when the rifles are closing in on his position and his teammate in Sineri. He might just find them all himself. He's doing such a good job of playing a distraction. He's still staying alive. Eventually going to fall in towards the site. But that's allows for Juan Flaucher to strike here, depending on what he can do. He's still not showing his position. The question is, is he going to get cleared? 
I mean, it is a position that is so often overlooked, and it might be again as Rig on distracts. Big kill on Dickenzie, whips out the USP. But Norway will be there to trade, not for much longer, though. As Norway no longer needs to trade, but clutch out the entire round. One versus two, 11 HP. Nades rattle further forward. Bomb is still dropped at the bottom of the stairs there. Bank here, what do you reckon, Exner? It depends on what he plans for here. It's a fake in the initial exchange. GXX gives him time, though. Oh, he just walks out to the open. There's just enough. Four seconds on the clock. He gets the numbers punched in. Oh, he's going to use the smoke as a one-way. Oh. Juan Flaucho. It's his first kill of the round. We saw him tucked in for so very long at Sandwich. But the only kill that he gets is the one at the very end. He finally gets his chance to strike. On that. As Synopsy needs to be so careful not to get sprung upon by the dastardly duo. And that's exactly what happens, but instead it's Lackey out of nowhere to capitalize. And a man advantage back again to the tease. Well, Plotcher hasn't had to reveal his position in rounds prior, so he'll just stick back to where he's gone before. And Rigon. Scenario able to find so much success. Finally, one full outro surfaces <laughs> from that sandwich position for his chance to strike and close out another round. But well, slowly but surely, Aurora back away. But you're right, B's been completely given up. They're convinced about an A hit here. And the only person anywhere close is Synopsy. I, I think he might be in ladder room here. There's Aurora. They're going to have complete free reign over the B site. And unless they check in the form of Synopsy very swiftly now. Things will get overrun, and Sinari finally deals a killing blow to the last remaining player on A. Synopsy gets nothing done on the opposing side, though. With that, it's even stature, and another retake scenario. Rigon decides not to go Ooh. for the wall pang instead. A lightning shot onto the main man in Kenzie. Jump up on the van now. Pops a shot off the jingle out for the op to find success, but Lattic can't land the follow-up. Needs to land this one onto GXX, and no luck. That's bad news, Eagles. Grabbing themselves map point on their map pick. Punishing that reposition. The fast paced play does not pan out in Aurora. As we're in very much the home stretch of the game here. Oh, can see he's anticipating this aggression. That is so <laughs> sick right there. There are no gaps in this default rig on those secondary opposite. Promising it is bested. A little bit of legs left. Juan Fletcher once again is. Primary position, that sandwich spot. Get the jump on him. A 3k to get 28 would be nice. I'm probably going to get him, though. There it is. Yeah, this is actually a little bit worrying here. They've gone in the perfect spot to trade out his teammates as they push through ramp. Celta starts strong, but GXX and Rig on a frag of peace. Oh no, the 5-7, it catches Latic off guard. We're into a two versus two. Kenzie bags another, but it's down to the 1v1. Sineri, the top fragger for his team at the moment, knows exactly where Lackey is. Lackey, panic spraying through and through, has fallen off the top of the staircase. Sineri could still win this, and oh no, they've actually done it. I thought we were joking, Exer. I thought they'd never be able to replicate it again on the week of buy. But they've done it in Aurora. Sad. I think spotting out some of this mid aggression. Juan Flaucher going out with his knife, letting some fly on by, but that's a that's allowed for Latic to strike. Juan Flaucher trade as quick as can be and smoke following suit here. It's a bit awkward though. There's a gap in vision. Does give up Lackey. Showing shoulder in the back of this A side as well, being a real thorn on their side as they try and recover bomb. They try and recover this round, but that job is so incredibly difficult. No armor on Synopsy. Needs to land some headshots soon as GXX is able to help out. Is it all on the back of his shoulders right now? 1v2 to open up map 3. He will not be able to find it. Kinsey puts an end to that. He'll be denied as Rigon investigates towards the A bomb site where he will be met with Celta if he decides to push through that smoke. Really well placed flash, but better spam coming through from Juan Flaucho and Synopsy doubling up. Waiting for that aggression is Rigon patience paying off as seemingly A side is his domain and that AG lands right on Kinsey. It comes back though. Now it's up to Lattic and Nori what? who have held it down a 5v2. It swings around immediately 2v2 now, but look at the HP bars. It favors Aurora. How has this round fallen so far out of favor? Nori. Has tucked himself in towards connector. He finds another one and a fourth. Norwe. He gets away with murder. Four kills alone on B1. Required from Lattic. That's secured. And Aurora robbed that 2v5 away from them. Sits six in one. 
He needs to be a lot more prominent on the AWP and the CT side of Anubis is a good place to start. A Celta starts to regress his way towards the column on the A site, but Rigon rips his head from his shoulders back into an even stature and Celta, I think the key underperformer for Aurora here, really needs to step up in this final map as GXX steps up for again another aggressive orb kill. Lattic though, Ooh. massive frag on backwards as Fran, Fran Flatro, Juan Flatro, Will again overextend in his aggression. Fuck. Half ticked already. And this is where they just now start to make the move. A little bit of shoulder shown from Sinair. And now all of a sudden, JXX off, all the more pressure put on him. He's flushed out of position. He has to dance in the flames, but eventually he's going to burn. Gets quite hot in the fire, and it's another really tough round retake. Retaken by Aurora right there with relative ease. It's the dynamic duo of Forrest, Nori, and Kinsey once again. But he hasn't tossed him in just yet. When's he finally gonna start to pull the pin? Oh, it's just now. There's one. There's the second. Nasty damage done. Two players done a half HP off the back of six hundred dollars, and the kill confirmed by Lackey who stands close by. Just goes from bad to worse here for bad news. Eagles. The morning painters tell a sad story. A scenario turns that in for another Lackey though. He's swift to trade. A four v three is. Unfortunately, no org action from Norway just yet. His teammates are taking the rap for Ooh. him. My god, what a headshot. GXX, the pre-aim is immaculate. Here's the scope on in. GXX already in a nasty off angle. That's going to be near impossible to bypass one. Flautro surfacing, though. Again, these post plants have been incredibly difficult for them to close. GXX, his side is turned on this flank. Oh, he's going to be an easy trade. Another retake right there. We're Such a slow start up against what has been a dominant showing from Aurora, managing to win out every 1BX duel, give it to them. Lackey chimes on in for more. Synopsy rips the head off Lackey. So it will at least be a man advantage, but Celta looks to ensure that won't last for much longer, but is unfortunately caught as he scopes on in. Excellent way to extend some advantages. Lactic dancing with this oh, no. oh, man. That's some fancy footwork right there from... Rigon, but can two v five? They can't lose two in the first seven rounds. Surely, that's not possible. Flash goes in. Rigon giving the fights here, and the oh, Og no. reigns supreme. Two v five, turn two v two. This could be two rounds that they lose in this sort of advantage here. GXX has coverage of this chokehold. How's he gonna get past it? He takes a different approach, a more passive one. That flash is gonna catch him. Oh my God, two v one! What happened again? Nori and Kinsey, it's back to back in these two v fives that they've been placed in. They make it happen. I cannot believe they let that one slip again. Nori has a seven KD right now. I think that's his fourth multi frag. I can only imagine the frustration that's set in as everyone sticks behind connector. Oh, no. And Molly is going to force them in between. Tough decisions ahead, but they actually do land the kill. And now Nori going to get pressured as well. Two kills coming through from Canary could alleviate a lot of that stress. And Blackie, though, comes in with a side swipe. Rion trades just as quick <laughs> as ever. And, well, I guess this would be a fitting way to win the first round here if they can close out. That's a big if. I mean, they've struggled in their post plants to an immeasurable degree, losing 2v5 up to 2v5. They've always seemed to have an advantage after the bomb has gone down. Now, Celta, one of the weaker links of the team oh. today, comes in and gets a gorgeous timing onto Rig on 2v2 now as the bomb continues to tick. But both players have an abuse kit. Latic has overlooked the flare back. Columns one. Flatro will fail the first. Celta trades on back. Taps the bomb. But Flatro jumps on it. No! <gasps> No way! Does he have enough time? I don't think he does. It's back to our faces for an appropriate reason, <laughs> but my god! What the hell has just happened? Did he win? Oh. No! The bomb goes off! Oh, <laughs> bad news, Eagles! Oh, by a thread! And of course, it's with the pistols! Oh my god. They do close it out. Just barely. It's a post plant that finally delivers. Maybe that's the hardest one right here. Maybe they can start to build some ground off of that. Oh, Kenzie. Ensures that the ground falls from under Rigon's feet, and my goodness, the deadly dodge falls too far to damage, and GXX, he's just waltzing straight into it at this point. It's harrowing, as Norway does further damage. <laughs> I, it's just harrowing, man. He's finally fell by one flatter, but Kenzie walks into his opposition. Another quick kiss goodbye from Russia with love, he says, as 4v2 ensues, and 
by Fletcher and Synopsy. They, they've given me every type of heart condition under the sun thus far this game as Kenzie shuts down another himself over a 2KD. Improves it ever further in Aurora. That's 9-1. to one. Feel for bad news, Eagles. It's just been an impeccable display from Aurora, even when they're at a deficit, even when everything is lost. They somehow find a way to just win everything. They've let one round slip by, and even then they kill all of the players in the process. Kenzie, a perfect angle, finds more. Synopsy does trade on out, but it's a 2v4. And we've seen how good they've been in post plants where they have an advantage. Let's see what they can do with a two-man disadvantage. Maybe, just maybe, they've got it in them. But no! Why would you do that? Running out into the open with no utility usage. Normie gets an absolute freebie, and Lackey now chimes on in for more. Or at least chimes on him from Pit. Synopsis completely isolated. And there we go. He seals the frag. Complete composure. I was going to say, if there's one thing that Bad News Eagles have had this entire series and last, it's that clutch factor. His game tenfold in the last map. In the decider, this guy has gotten into firm position. So he's looking for some mid aggression. And he's going to step up to the plate. Synopsis looks to trade, oh, no. but no fortune. No luck there. Aurora walk away with a three on five and desperately try and swing their way back in towards the B-bomb site. Or they just meet a brick wall. Two players to deal with here. It's Kinsey, though, who looks to stand tall, but will quickly drop. And Lackey gets himself in a position. Oh, but he's going to die the bomb plant. Oh, dear. They don't clear Lackey. Lackey clears them. Looks to clear house as Sineri. The weaker weapon, the weaker position, walks straight into Latic, and he's not going to miss a shot as easy as that with the form he's been displaying. A 3KD to add to the pandemonium. One Yuri on the money! <laughs> what is going on? Did he disconnect? There's no, no way he's, he's not... still... He's got to be. Is he just... Is he actually disconnected? 100%. Oh, no! Oh, no! They both disconnected! Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, three people just disconnected. Maybe they're oh. playing on land. The internet might have just gone down on a round like this. I mean, it's a freebie. The band is so desperately need, but Normie's not going to give it up for free. Juan Flatcher has other ideas. Shuts him down, but by God, they had everything in their favor. That should have been a 14 to Aurora, but we'll have to see if we can recover <laughs> things on the side of Pathus Eagles after this short but much needed halftime break. And they receive already a free pass and a lot of presence with that smoke. Looks like it was a bit missed, though. The XX still has a gap in it, but maybe he was just hinting at a little bit of, you know, enticement, right? Come on closer to these blocks, because we're going to run you down, and Scenario can't say anything about that. He's just going to get run down as well. Two players bested here. Pistol looking promising. One stands in connector, but dropped by Selter. This retake effort going to be very difficult as both players dive on in. 4v2, but no luck. 1v3 asked upon Flautro, and... It's just far too much to bear. An opening pistol here. Towards B pit here is Aurora. They stack up towards the outside of B, and this is where things could get quite scary. We could be staring down the barrel of a game ender here. Sinneri does find two with a deagle. Keeps on fragging regardless of the circumstances. Celta, my goodness, as <laughs> that he finds another is Synopsy, sleeps Latic. There is actually hope here in the three versus two. Ben who's eagle starting to become cognizant of this fact. Turn the backs here. Oh, Selter. It's just a big kill. Nori in a 1v3. It would be a fitting way to cap things off. Nori with the closer. Looking to deliver them all the way home. The series as he now edges further forward. Potentially into the arms of Norway. Who's going to look first as Synopsy keeps BND alive for a round further? But is he just delaying the inevitable? Positions, but. Five players look to test him on this A-bomb site, and they are moving in, inching forward closer and closer. Synopsy comes in recovery and support. How much can they get, though? Immediately traded out, and the flashes catch him. Lattic setting up his teammates for success, and we got a 4v3 and a potential for the post plant now. Yeah, that was two headshots in the space of a millisecond there. Nice trade, but again, an advantage to the likes of Aurora. Great HG, actually, to the back of sight. GSX now pushes forward, finds the first, quickly traded. Norway's got his number. Lackey now dancing around as well. Flatro does deal with the Forza duos first. And Flatro and Sineri are actually going to get a very nice retake set on him. As Van Nuys Eagles find their fifth now. Out of the hat, and those are the ways you need to start rounds off like that. 
Recon. Oh, he slipped past the first, but goes down to Celta. A great readjustment after expending. Utilatic holding the rear flank ensures that Juan Flatra gets nothing else done. And now we have ourselves a 4v3. There's still plenty of Util. They've got a bit of a foothold on the bomb site. GXX losing his own grip as his HP is teetered on down. Synopsy holds the angle as Celta tries to go for a swing, but nerves are high. Pressure is on. Waiting for the mid flank. Oh my goodness, no way. Oh, there's no way, nor we find the double. It's all over, surely, Exter. All down to Scenario in a one versus four. What discipline from Nori as well. He doesn't go for that finisher. He gets the smoke down and buys time in the post plant, man. You absolutely love to see that discipline from such a young player. It very well could be their closer. It is. He's got to finish the job with 29 kills. Not quite hitting the dirty 30, but certainly doing the job and giving Aurora their victory in South Europe right there. What an incredible series from them. That was absolutely phenomenal. Huge congratulations to Aurora here. This is their first tournament.